Yep, took me a long time, but I'm finally doing this video, Andrew. I remember you uh, suggested this video about a year ago or so, and I decided to wait till I got something, you know, like a nice setup, because I had the, had all these movies inside some cabinet, but now, you know, I got a spacious room, I bought this cheap-ass piece of shit racks from Amazon, and I put everything about 95% in alphabetical order. So let's begin my Blu-ray 4K DVD collection. Let's walk right up here. Look at that. Wow, such a beaut. Uh, 500 Days of Summer. If you just got out of a relationship, don't watch this film. It's going to make you very sad. This more money transfer, it looks like shit. And these are the A's and the B's. Emily. Emily. I like this French movie. It's very, very, very good. Love that French movie. Look at this cool ass holographic sleeve. I, and I don't like 3D. I hate 3D movies. But I mainly bought this because of that awesome ass holographic sleeve. All right, slide in, baby. All right, good girl. Now let's get down here. Billy Madison is one of my all-time favorite comedies. Next to Dumb and Dumber is just, this shit is just hilarious, dude. Hilarious. We got the Civil War and the Winter Soldier and Steel Book. Regular Blu-ray, I kept those. Whatever that I really love and enjoy, I will keep the Blu-ray and the 4K. Sometimes. But if 4K transfer is better, is better than the Blu-ray, then the Blu-ray goes bye-bye. But it depends. If it's on Steel Book, I'll keep it. And yes, when I built this, I wasn't paying attention because I'm a dumbass and I need to get a marker or paint or maybe uh, my friend recommended... Um, uh, black tape or whatever the hell you want to call it. We got two Beetlejuice and Steel Books. I believe these two videos are on the channel. The Blob this is coming out on Screen Factory soon, but I'll I rather just have the umbrella because it's cheaper, and I'm sure the transfer is not going to be a big difference. So that's B. Let's get down to C and D. We got Django on chain. Dawn of the Dead, one of my favorite zombie films. I bought this shit. I kind of regret buying this because it's actually coming out in the U.S. as a Blu-ray. At the time when I bought this, there was no U.S. Blu-ray transfer release or anything like that. So I'm pretty annoyed, but you could play this on Region A. Drive. Fantastic uh, soundtrack. Drive Angry. I actually enjoyed You know, Drive Angry... As corny as it is, it's actually a pretty good action movie. We got Dumb and Dumber, obviously. Drop Dead Fred was, was another movie that uh, never had a U.S. release. But this plays, I think, uh, Region A should play on U.S. Uh, 4K players, Blu-ray players. Yes, two copies, sealed and open. I love that movie. It's a great anime movie. Gotta have two of those. You got the uh, Screen Factory Steel Books here. Let's bring that down, guys. Guys being guys. A film for guys. So you got three pack here. And the only reason why I got this was because of Revenge of the Nerds. But Bachelor Party and Porky's are actually you know, very good films. So... It's actually a, a great collection of uh, comedies, especially Revenge of the Nerds. Revenge of the Nerds is one of my all-time all favorite films of all time. Well, next to Billy Madison. Hugo, actually, I really enjoyed Hugo a lot. I wouldn't mind if this came out 4K and there was a release of uh, Steelbook. I would definitely jump on it. And have all three, what, the Hatchets. I actually enjoy a lot of these Hatchet films. They're actually quite good in my opinion, except for the newest one. It was a new one that came out, and that was a big, giant piece of shit. And we got Hobo with a Shotgun, which is an excellent film. Maniac is my all-time favorite slasher next to Halloween. I just, you know, Frank, Frank Zito was my boy. That's all I gotta say. Spit on your grave. She got raped, but she got her revenge. And I really love those revenge kills in uh, Spit on Your Grave. And I'm talking about the 1970... 7, 7, 8, 76. Jingle all the way. 
John Wick. I only liked the first John Wick. Didn't care for the second one. The second one was too fake. It was it was just too ridiculously fake. The third one was okay. It was an improvement over two, but I still consider the first one the best. Killer Clowns out of from out of space. Last action hero. I was gonna say what he says in the film. You want to be a farmer? He's a couple of acres and kicks him right in the nuts. March of the Wooden Soldiers. Every time Christmas time will come, they will show this, and I would just watch this as a kid all the damn time. This is a great Christmas movie. Into the M Monster Squad. That's freaking great. This came in all fucked up from Amazon years ago. Never got a replacement, but whatever. Night of the Living Dead remake. I got videos on my channel. This is a great remake. I highly recommend people picking it up if you love the Living uh, Night of the Living Dead remake. Got Perfect Blue, which I try to post on uh, YouTube, but blocked worldwide. Got to the P and the R. Sorry for the shaky cam. Let's sit down once again. Now this is, this I need a second copy. I would like to have this one sealed as well. The animated movie has always been my favorite, uh, Street Fighter 2. I never liked Alpha Generations or whatever you want to call it, but Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, you know, that's something I grew up as a kid and I used to, I still love this to this day. And you have a chungaree naked, chungaree in the shower, ooh, it gets my pee-pee so hot, okay? Serial Mom, I really enjoy Serial Mom. This, this does not belong here, this is 4K. I screwed that up. Nice, beautiful steel book, Shape of Water. Well, good thing I, I'm doing this video, right? Silence of the Lambs is a really good transfer, especially an upgrade over the original Blu-ray. Sister Street Fighter is hilarious, and it's pretty damn awesome, the action. Spectacular Spider-Man. Disney needs to work and release the X-Men and Spider-Man from the 90s. They need to get their fat, lazy asses Especially when it comes to their 4K transfers. They need to do a better job. Because they're just lazy fucks. Lazy pieces of garbage. Billionaires. That's what they are. Okay. Let's move on. Tusk. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about Tusk. I was in the movie theater with these two other people. There, there were a couple. They were sitting more, more up front. I was sitting more in the back. And this is a very odd movie. It's not a movie for everyone, okay? So when I got to the part when he was finally a walrus, I'm going to spoil this movie. So if you don't want to hear this, turn off the volume. So when he turned into the walrus, he started yelling. It was just bizarre. It was so odd that this couple, they stood up and they fucking left. And it was hilarious, man. I started bursting in laughter when they left. I was like the only person. Watching this movie by myself in Times Square at uh, AMC 25. You got Vampire Bloodlust. The sleeve is pretty messed up. That's probably my fault because I'm a dumbass. But this was not a very good transfer. The picture is not very crisp. It's pretty blurry. They just really f dropped the ball in the transfer of this. But the first Vampire D transfer is fantastic. Again, towards the end now. Wild Boys DVD. You see, this part is kind of off, but whatever. We got the zombie, which I already have on the channel. This as well. Wolverine. The Wolverine I really enjoyed, except for the last like 20 minutes. They really dropped the ball in the last 20 minutes. The Silver Samurai and all that. It was just a great disappointment. It's just the outcome. It was just so disappointing. It was just totally like a stupid ass ending. It's just totally stupid. Got Wayne's World. I need to get the second one. We are science. So I put the shows here towards the end. And it's like, you know what? I don't care. I think I made a little bit of space here. So, because I need the uh, part two of the fifth season. Get the DVDs here. More Wild Boys. I, I love Wild Boys, man. I love Jackass. I love all that stuff. I think you guys seen this uh, randomly. The other two. These are the regular Blu rays. Uh, Steelbook. I kept them because, like, similar to Captain America. I love the Nolan series, so whatever I love, I will keep. Yes, does that does not belong because I did a video just recently on the channel. I think it was yesterday. I was playing some X Men vs Street Fight on the CRT along with Street Fighter Zero Three. 
I also own this on DVD. I kept it because, like I said, I loved it. Dancer in the Dark. Dancers of the Dark is a very... This is a pretty depressing movie. Very sad movie, but very well acted, etc., etc. Yeah, Power Stone, who will WS. Willie Will gave gave me as a gift. I did a video of that uh, unpacking of his gifts, his goodies. Appreciate it always. You know, a big thank you to him. Similar to the Fist of the North Star, I have two copies sealed, which I need for the Street Fighter. Uh, if this comes out on Blu-ray, I will definitely get it on Blu-ray, but I will keep the DVDs. Now let's get to the 4K. Let's start over here because it's very lonely. Those X-Men movies, I actually regret buying that 4K uh, collection because I was never a fan of any of these X-Men movies besides the, the Wolverine. What other Fox involved movies? Not really. I'm not a big fan of the Fox uh, Marvel movies whatsoever. Uh, I actually kind of do want to get rid of that, but whatever i was just curious because i got it for the i got it cheap and i was just curious about those transfers wreck it ralph i like the first one the second one was actually quite disappointing I, it really didn't do anything for me so i really like the first one more and wonder woman so let's start with the a got apocalypse now which uh can't show any footage but the 4k transfer is awesome uh, aliens of uh, the first alien I mean uh, I don't have it on blu-ray because the 4k transfer kicks ass got Alita American Psycho sadly this has a lot of DNR but it is quite of an upgrade over the blu-ray in my opinion Aquaman uh, didn't see it in theaters but I decided to get it on uh, 4k I took the chance it was 20 bucks and I actually really enjoyed Aquaman. It was actually a pretty good film. Got the first Avengers on 4K, Steel Book, and the last previous two uh, Avenger films, Black Hawk Down. You can see all the Batmans, the first three, and the Nolan trilogy. And you got a Relkin. Little Mermaid on Steel Book, which I have not seen yet. All the Captain America's Deadpool. Yes, this is a very good 4K transfer. We got the 2018 Halloween Steel Books. I actually enjoyed the 2018. It is what it is, you know. It's uh, you can't, you just can't beat the classics, especially the first two, in my opinion. The Incredible Hulk, the good Incredible Hulk. I actually like this Incredible Hulk film much more than the other one. We got the first Iron Man. I don't mess. I don't mess with the other. You know, two and three. I hated those Iron Man movies. Those Iron Man movies were awful. Awful. First one just kicks ass, in my opinion. We got It. Jumanji. It's pretty good uh, 4K transfer. La La Land. I love La La Land. I'm still waiting for this part two to come out. I'm hoping that part two comes out. Because I love part two. A lot of people didn't like part two. But I, I really enjoyed it tremendously. But I always liked the kick-ass movies. And yes, it's not exactly like the comics, but whatever. Gotta have this. This Tomb Raider transfer, 4K transfer, is really, it's just like, it's really clean. It's very crisp. It looks excellent. This Tomb Raider is just, the, the picture quality is phenomenal. And the movie actually was quite decent. It wasn't... It wasn't horrible. It was uh, quite good, in my opinion. This has heavy, disgusting DNR, but I, I still like it for what it is. So it's all about preference. And there you go. That's my 4K Blu-ray DVD collection. And I'll be getting even more movies. Might have to invest on another rack. But yeah, guys, and I'm actually playing some uh, Shinobi 3 soundtrack in the background because there's some background noise outside my room. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great weekend. Take care.